Some of the things that feature in Lovecraft's horror make sense as horror. Discovering that your family were cannibals who farmed humans? Yeah, that's pretty damn horrific. Being scared of squiddy tentacle things? makes complete sense if you have a seafood allergy. Books written by Arab scholars, completely scary if you're a massive racist like Lovecraft was. But who is scared of geometry? Even if you mostly dislike math, circles, squares and triangles are really visually approachable. That's a fun math. On the other hand, if you're like me, all math is the fun math. The type of math you learn in primary education is Euclidean geometry. It is the geometry of flat space, of the pen and the paper. In Euclidean geometry, if you have two lines at the same angle, then they will remain at the same distance apart forever. But there are other geometries. For example, there is spherical geometry, where parallel lines eventually meet at the poles. The geometry of navigation is spherical geometry. So how can spherical geometry be scary? We live on a globe. Well, Euclidean geometry is a thing that is obvious. It works at the scale of human intuition. However, if you move beyond the human scale, what seemed to be Euclidean now becomes non-Euclidean. To men like Lovecraft, the world is created for humans. In particular, it is created for white men like him. This idea was used to justify colonizing countries and taking over all their resources because God created the world for them. However, what if the impression that the world was created for humans was an illusion of scale? What if we start looking at the scale beyond human, the scale of non-Euclidean geometries? If our intuition isn't built for the world at this scale, that perhaps the creator didn't make the world for humans, then sailing across the ocean, treating other people like cattle and exploiting their lands becomes no more moral than an underground city of humans bred to be slaughtered as meat. At its core, cosmic horror is the horror that the world is not made for men like Lovecraft. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe for whatever next comes out of my mouth.